Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. Most of you guys will agree that Google Chrome is one of the best mobile web browser for Android as it offers lots of features that no other browser has to offer. And now Chrome is one of the most used browser in the world of both computers and smartphones. But still many users don't know its true potential and that's why today I'm going to show you 10 useful tricks to help make your Chrome experience even better. Excited? So let's get started. Now, if you are one of those who owns a larger phone, which is quite common nowadays, then you will know reaching to the top of screen in one-handed use can be difficult. But today I am going to show you a very useful trick using which you can move the address bar to the bottom of the screen. Simply paste this URL into Chrome. Now tap the highlighted selected menu and press enabled. Now click on this to restart the browser and you are done. This will basically move the address bar to the bottom and in case you want to reverse this, simply set the flag to default and restart Chrome again. Quickly switch between tabs. Now there are times when you have opened multiple tabs on your Chrome browser and switching between tabs usually require tapping the tab button and selecting the one you want and this could be irritating sometimes. What if I tell you that there are two simple ways to quickly switch between tabs. First, you can simply swipe across the address bar to switch between the tabs. Or you can swipe down on the address bar to see the full list and tap the one you want. And I think these quick gestures are much more convenient than the old school way. Use two Chrome tabs in a split screen. One of the best feature to arrive with Android Nougat is the split screen mode. But what you may have overlooked is that you can also split two Chrome tabs up as well. So just like on your PC, you can look at two different websites at the same time for cross-referencing articles or some journal multitasking. To do that, first open the Chrome in multi-window mode by long pressing the recent button. Once that is done, click on these three dots and here you will find an option which says move to other window. Just click on that and boom. Now you have access to Chrome tabs in split screen mode. Save website pages as PDF for offline reading. Now there are times when you are reading something on internet and suddenly you remember that you have to go somewhere. In that case, you can simply save that website page as a PDF file for offline reading. To do that, click on these three dots and select share while your page is open. Now from here, click on the print option then from the top select save as PDF and click on this PDF icon and you are done. You can later on access the PDF file using any PDF viewer. Enable Reader Mode Look, I am not gonna point any fingers but reading on a mobile device isn't always the most pleasant experience. By default, the option for reading mode only appears when Chrome thinks you are reading an article but you can make it appear more frequently or all the time. There is a hidden tool in Chrome for cleaning up the web and it's called Reader Mode. Simply paste this URL into Chrome and press this highlighted box. Here you have to select always then relaunch the Chrome. Now if you go back and open any page, you will get this option at the bottom which says make page mobile friendly. Just click on that and you have successfully entered the reader mode. Browse your internal memory files. Now for those who don't know, there is a hidden trick in Google Chrome through which you can browse your internal memory files. Yep, that's true. To do this, open your Chrome browser and type this URL and that's it. Now you can simply browse any of your file from the internal memory and you can also open any file directly from the browser. Yeah, I know this is not the best way to browse files but it's good to know that it's present. Speed up page loading with Brotly Google Chrome is one of the fastest browser available in Play Store but do you know you can make it even faster by enabling the Brotly function which improves the page loading speed as sites are unzipped faster. To do this, you need to open your Chrome browser and type this URL and press this yellow highlighted box. Here you have to enable this option. Once that is done, relaunch the Chrome browser. Now when you will open a new page, you can clearly see the difference that now the pages are loading slightly faster. Add shortcut to a website on home screen. Now, if you find yourself frequently visiting a website, then adding it to your home screen will save you some time and few taps. To do so, simply tap on the three-point menu and select add to home screen while you are on that page. Then just choose a label for the icon that will be added to your home screen. It's as simple as that. Enable do not track feature. You are tracked all over the web, 
but sometimes asking politely will cause the behavior to stop. Now there are advertisers and data miner that tracks your browsing habits and if you want to avoid this then there is a very simple trick to do that in Chrome browser. By default this feature is off when you download Chrome but you can simply enable this by going into setting menu then privacy. Here you will find an option which says do not track. Just open that and enable this option. Now you will not be tracked while you are browsing. Secret Dinosaur Game I guess you are quite familiar with this page that pops up when you are not connected to internet. Now I am also pretty sure that many of you guys are not familiar that there is a hidden dinosaur game inside the Google Chrome. Just double tap on this dinosaur icon in Google Chrome and you can play this secret game. This is one of the best way to spend time when your internet is not working in your smartphone. Now these are top 10 useful tricks for Chrome browser that you can try out on your smartphones right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.